How's it guys? This is Gary Audi from the beautiful Cape Town, South Africa. Today is a video on how you can actually buy other altcoins and where you need to go to buy those altcoins. So let's say for example you're sitting with Bitcoin and you're looking to now go and buy Capricoin or Ripple or Dash or any of the other Ethereum, any of the other cryptocurrencies out there. So I'm going to explain quickly how that all happens, all right? So the first thing you guys need to do is you need to actually have Bitcoin on your actual balance, okay? So you'll see in a previous video I show you within Luno how to acquire Bitcoin, how to fund your client account so that you can acquire the Bitcoin, then I also show you how to send it, all right? So once you've got your Bitcoin sitting here in your Luna account, the next step for you to do would be to go to the following website. It's www.bitrex.com. Okay, so you see bitrex.com. Once you're there, guys, um, all you need to do, I've already logged in, is you need to register. Okay, so register it. Register, you'll put your email address, create a password, it will send you an email, confirm the email, and get your account going with on Bittrex, okay? So Bittrex is an exchange where you can use Bitcoin to buy any other altcoin, and altcoin being any other alternative coin that's not Bitcoin, okay? So it's really very simple. So once you've opened your account within Bittrex, this is what the screen will look like. Okay, the very next thing you guys do is you click on wallets. Yeah, you'll see a whole list of different cryptocurrencies. And, you know, you can, you can see I, I've, I've kept some of my coins on the exchange, which you shouldn't really do. But um, if, you, if you are trading uh, frequently with them, uh, you could do it. Okay, um, but that's a video for another day. So... Really what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is you want to fund this particular account with Bitcoin. So if you look, you come to the Bitcoin um, tab, if you, if you can't find the coin that you're looking for and you're, you're in wallets, you can always type in the shortened version and you'll see there it will give it to you. There's Bitcoin, BTC, so I put it under search and it puts it there for me, okay? So now the next step you want to remember is you want to actually put Bitcoin onto this exchange. And to do it, you either click the plus or the minus. Now the plus is to add Bitcoin, okay, to this exchange. So I click the plus sign. And you'll see what happens now. <clears throat> okay, there you go, all right. So if it's the first time you do it, all right. The very first time you do it, it will. It, you won't give you an address. You'll have to click the button that says create new address. And then it will give you an address, okay? You guys can see this is an account number for Bittrex.com. And everybody has their own unique account number or wallet address, okay? So that there is the wallet address. Now, if you're going to be funding this um, account from um, your app on your cell phone, all you would do, guys, is log onto the app, okay, go to the camera function on the app where it says scan barcode or QR code, and then you would scan the QR code, it would come up on your phone, you type in the amount you want to send to that account, and you click send, okay. But let's say you haven't downloaded the app and you want to do it the old-fashioned way, you can do it very simply by copying that address, you go back to your Luna wallet and you click the send button. Now it will say, where do you want to send this to? Now you want to send it to Bittrex, okay, because you want Bitcoin there so that you can buy the Capricoin. So you paste in the wallet address that you're sending it to and now it asks you how much do you want to send. So just to do this example, I'm going to send... 0.05 Bitcoin, and I'll put you Bitrex. Okay, let's make it 0.05. Okay, 
two. I'm not sure how much I got in this account. All right, Bitrix, I go send. Okay, it's saying to me, I don't have enough in this account, so let's make it 0.01. Uh, let's go send. Great, okay, so now it's saying to me, put in your two-factor authentication code. Now guys, before you go and download a Google Authenticator, make sure you know how this thing works. There's lots of videos on YouTube about it, lots of information on Google, okay? So you go onto your, your Google Authenticator and you type in your Authenticator code and confirm. And it would have sent it now. You see here it's saying pending. Okay, pending. It's sent, but it's pending, okay? So now that transaction's on the blockchain. And once it's confirmed, once it's got three confirmations, um, it will then appear on Bittrex. Now you'll see here, um, to do this demo, I transferred 0.01, but it was taking too long. I only had two or three confirmations before it arrived. So it still hasn't arrived while I'm doing this video. So I've used the balance that I actually had in the account for the demo. All right, so guys, um, I'm now going to go on to Bittrex. Okay. And I'm going to wait and see when that actually arrives okay so normally before it arrives it will say as a pending deposit and while i'm waiting for it to arrive you see now the time is 2:26. i'm going to pause the video for now okay and once it arrives there i'll show you how to actually now buy capricorn or buy whatever altcoin you're looking to buy so until uh, until it arrives guys i'm pausing the video all right, guys, while we're waiting for that transaction to go through, I want to show you um, how to actually view it, okay? So you can view it on the blockchain, and you can see uh, how many confirmations there have been. Um, and once there's normally three confirmations on the blockchain, it actually is goes through, right? So the first thing you do is you go and find the transaction, you click View Details. So yeah, you'll see this is where I sent it to Bittrex. Okay, so I click on it. I click on the transactions thing. I click on it. And you'll see uh, that's the address I sent it to. That was the fee that they charged. That's the amount in rands that it's worth. I want to now see on the public ledger, on this distributed public ledger, okay, this decentralized ledger called the blockchain, what is happening with that transaction? That is called the transaction ID or the hash. So if anybody asks you, please send the hash to prove your payment, you just send them that. Because if they take that and they click on it, you can see within the blockchain, there the payment is sitting. There's my wallet that I sent it to, and there it is. But at the moment, you can see it's unconfirmed. So once that is confirmed, they will say one confirmation, two confirmations, three confirmations. And after three confirmations, it will appear on the actual exchange. All right, that's just a little tip um, while we're waiting for it to arrive. Stand by, guys. All right, okay, so now what's happened, um, it's been a few, a few minutes, and you see here it says pending deposits. So it puts it here as a pending deposit. Get that out the way. Confirmations naught of two. Okay, so I see Bittrex needs two confirmations before it will actually appear. And once it appears, you see there as well, to say pending deposit, available balance naught. Available balance naught. So we're going to wait for that pending to be confirmed so that it can sit over there. And once it sits over there, I can actually go and buy Capricorn or Ripple or whatever I want to buy. So stand by, guys. Okay, guys, um, the transaction hasn't yet confirmed uh, for some reason. You can see, obviously, the blockchain is uh, queued at the moment. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you um, another way. Um, well, we're going to acquire Bitcoin onto this because I'm going to sell some. I've got 30 Capricorn here. I'll sell them and buy them back, okay? And then I'll show you how to do both processes. So just to get back to your whole wallet to remove your search item, Okay, now you see, um, 
I'm sitting with 31 Capricorns here, okay? So if I want to buy Capricorn or sell Capricorn, the coin you want to buy or sell, you must click on the hyperlink. If you can't find it because there are too many, just type in the coins shortened form there, click on the hyperlink, and it will take you to the next part. Now I'm going to do this quite quickly. This video is getting on now. It's really 10 minutes. You guys can always pause it, go back, pause, you know, just to get to make sure you know what you're doing. Okay, so now, because I couldn't get the Bitcoin onto this exchange fast enough to do finish this video, I'm going to sell some Bitcoin, I mean some Capricorn, and then when I sell it, it automatically goes into Bitcoin, okay? So you see, if you go down here, you can see... This is the graph of what's been happening. The, the, the greens are where people have been buying and the reds are where people have been selling. Okay. Here you can see the bid at the moment is um, 0.036. Okay. The ask is 0.37. So people are selling for 0.37 and someone's saying, no, I'm prepared to pay 0.36. All right. So now what I want to do here, the first thing, because I don't want to have to wait to sell it. I want to sell it, okay? So to sell it, I've got to go to what somebody is actually bidding to pay for it. So all I do is I go to the bid and I click on that. You'll see as I do that, that's the Bitcoin price that they're willing to, to um, sell at, okay? Or to buy at, all right? So I'm now selling at that price. I've got 31 Capricorns and I go... I can either put the number of Capricorns I want to sell, let's say 15, and it will tell me how much Bitcoin I'll get, okay? So if I'm selling, uh, let's just sell, let's sell 20, okay? It's, and that's what it's going to return me in Bitcoins, okay? So now I go sell Capricorn, confirm, sell order, placed, and it has been filled okay so now what's happened i've sold 20 capricorn to this guy that was willing to pay that for it all right and if i go back to my wallets and i remember it's, it's only showing capricorn there so i must remove it from the search box you will see there i have the bitcoin that I used, that I sold my Capricorn for. So this is the position you'll be in really once you move your Bitcoin onto the actual exchange. So I've just done this the reverse way for you, so you can also see how to sell coins in order to acquire Bitcoin again. Okay. Now if I want to send this Bitcoin anywhere, I'll click the minus button. It will say to me, where do you want to send it to? And I'll send it to a particular address my Luna wallet or my Mycelium wallet or blockchain wallet. Okay, but we don't want to do that now. We want to actually buy Capricorn or Ripple or whatever you want to buy. So let's go and buy Capricorn now. So I go back to CPC. I click on the hyperlink. I'm back on this section of the website now where you can buy and sell. Okay. And now I'm looking to buy Capricorn. Okay. So these are the asks. If I don't come in at this price, then it's going to go to a buy order. Okay. So let's say I come in at that price and I'm wanting to buy the maximum number of Capricorns I can get, it's 19, and I say buy Capricorn, confirm. It places the buy order, but it won't be fulfilled, okay, until I find a seller that's prepared to sell it at that price. So you see it comes here, open orders. But now I don't want the open order, so I can just cancel it. Okay, so I'm going to show you quickly how to buy it and get your Capricorns immediately. Okay, so this is how you do it. You go to the asks. This is what this is what 
people want to, um, you know, are, are um, selling it for, okay? So you have a look here. This guy is asking 21064 Satoshis, because that's how you say it. Um, it's a total of 0.0197 Bitcoin. That's what he's got avail available to sell at this price. So I click that price. I then go, um, I want to I first get this to back to zero. Just get it back to zero now. Um, sorry guys. Get back to zero. Okay, and let's go, let's go back there. Okay, puts it there, puts the max. Okay, and I can say, uh, buy Capricorn. Confirm. There you go. It's filled because this guy had a whole lot that he was selling at that price. Okay, and it's filled it. So I go back to my wallets. Those 19 Capricorns are back. Okay, so I get rid of that. And there you can see there's the my 30 Capricorn are back. So I've shown you in this video how to um, sell your Capricorn and then how to buy it back. And I've also shown you how to send your Bitcoin onto the Bitrix exchange. Guys, I hope you learned a lot from this. Until the next video, subscribe to my channel below. Lots of great opportunities there. Um, like the video if you like the video and you got some value out of it. Feel free to share it. Cheers guys. Till the next video. This is Gary signing off.